Apparently the Thunder Gun's range is really far during insta-kill. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that worked. Myth confirmed, let's move on to the next one. Apparently on farm, you can buy this mystery box without opening up the doors. All you have to do is jump on this railing and then press jump, crouch, then interact, and... Oh my gosh, how does that work? Myth confirmed. On five, you can get on top of this table in the spawn. Apparently all you have to do is jump from this window. So let's get up here so we can jump over and... Nope, I do not think I can get up there. I think this one got patched. Myth busted. That was the first three of the 40 myths that we're going to be busting in this video. Let's move on to number four. Apparently, if Richtofen builds the shield on Origins, it gets more health. Let's build it with Richtofen, and it takes 14, 15 hits to destroy. Now let's build it with Dempsey, and 15. It takes the exact same amount of hits, no matter what character it is. Myth busted. Apparently, on Garad Krovi, when you get the Crate Power Gobblegum and use it on Monkey Bombs, it upgrades the Monkey Bombs. Okay, let's see if they're upgraded. Oh my gosh, they are. Myth confirmed. I've heard that on Shino Numa, whichever perk shows up first in the perk cycle is the one that spawns there. Oh my gosh, it's Jug. I could have swore that this one was fake. Myth confirmed. Apparently on Die Rise, if you have the Sliquifier and shoot this sign 10 times, the gun reverts to its pre-patched version. Wait, I just heard a sound. Is this actually going to work? This is crazy. It actually worked. It's chaining to a bunch more zombies. Myth confirmed. Apparently, you can get the Ray Gun Mark II from the Mystery Box without owning the Mark II DLC. I'm not really sure if this one works, so I'm going to spin for the Mark II with no DLC except for Origins, and we'll come back to this one later and see what I find. Apparently, you run faster when you hold out the Turbine on Transit. Okay, I ran with both, and let's see them side by side. Nope, both the same speed. Myth busted. Apparently in Cold War, if you get a double points and then lay down in front of a perk machine, you get 200 points instead of the normal 100. Okay, myth confirmed. I just got 200 points for that. That's pretty cool. An older myth is that killing this pig on five will make the game harder. This one's busted. The game feels exactly the same as before when the pig was alive. Apparently, you can access the bank on town without being on transit. All I have to do is glitch through this wall, then inch my way over here, and... Nope, the bank's not working. Plus, I hit a death barrier, so this one's busted. If you buy the Olympia on Die Rise and then go into this room, the gun changes its sound. This is what it normally sounds like and now now it sounds like the ksg what what the heck myth confirmed i've heard that there's an upgrade to the apothec and servant on shadows of evil but this myth is busted the community's been searching for years and still found nothing apparently the krm can be seen in the mystery box on derizendrak but you can't actually get it from the box i'm not sure if this one's true so i'm gonna spin the box a little bit and i'll let you guys know what i find my friend told me that on origins you can hold more than one staff all i have to do is get rid of all my weapons and then buy mule kick then i pick up a staff from the crazy place, switch to the segment's vigor, and... Oh my goodness, I can. This is the coolest thing ever, myth confirmed. Apparently, if you switch aim assist on and off five times, Deadshot Daiquiri will work on mouse and keyboard. All right, let's buy Deadshot. The moment of truth. Nope, it still does not work. Myth busted. Apparently, if you no-clip out of town, the entire transit map is still there. I just hit a death barrier, but this bridge is still here. I would assume the rest of transit is still there. I'm gonna say myth confirmed. I've heard that you can get more max ammos if you don't pick them up and essentially save them for later. Unfortunately, this one is busted. All the power-ups are on a rotation no matter what. There's a myth that over 90% of the people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. This one's actually confirmed, so if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. If if you crouch on one of these cushions on the transit bus, it'll make the bus start to go. I tested this and found that getting on the bus and waiting takes about the same amount of time as if you were crouching, so myth busted. Apparently the time bomb can be used to open every door for free on Buried. I just drop the time bomb, take out all my points from the bank, now I open up the entire map, and then I use the time bomb, and my points should go back to the bank, and the map should still be open. Okay, my points went back, let's check the bank, yep, everything looks good good in here. Is the map still open? Holy cow it is. Myth confirmed. That's pretty cool. After Quick Revive goes away, if you run right where it just was, you'll hear perk bottles jingling. Oh my gosh, I do. It's like the perk machine is still there. Myth confirmed. Apparently the jet gun can pull power-ups towards you. All I have to do is aim at the power-up and... Yeah, it's pulling it towards me. Myth confirmed. I've heard that you can get up this ladder in Keynote or Toten, and there's a Wonder Waff waiting for you at the top. I've been trying to get up here for about five minutes, and nothing is working. Even if I fly up here, though, there's also no Wonder Waff, so this one's busted. Apparently, having stamina up allows you to hold your breath for longer underwater. 
Myth confirmed. In my testing, I found that you actually hold your breath for about double the time with stamina. Apparently on BO3 Shinonuma, if you don't open the doors, you can hear the jingle of the perk that'll be behind it. I've been listening for a couple minutes and I haven't heard a jingle yet. I don't know if it hasn't started yet, but I'm gonna say Myth busted. I've heard that if you throw a monkey bomb into a window, you're guaranteed a max ammo next round. All right, let's see if I get a max ammo next round. Nope, I did not get a max ammo that round. Myth busted. This secret door on town can actually be opened, and you can go inside the bowling alley. Unfortunately, this one's also busted. The only way to get inside the bowling alley is on the town custom map in BO3. Coming back to the one about the KRM, I've been spinning for so long, and I never saw the KRM in the box. And I never got it, so I'm gonna say this myth is busted. My friends told me that there was a bus route B in transit. Even though it says that there's a route B on this poster, this one's been proven to be busted. Even though it would have been pretty cool. Apparently, if you grenade this fridge and farm, you can put your gun in it and it'll become pack-a-punch. All right, let's see if we can put the gun in and nope, nothing's happening after I grenaded it. Myth busted. Apparently, the jet gun can stop fall damage. All right, let's jump and yes, it can. Myth confirmed. I don't know when I'll ever use this, but okay. I've heard that if you buy a gun from the box and then EMP it, it'll get rid of the gun and give you your points back. And now we EMP it... Well, the gun went away, but my points never came back, so myth busted. Apparently, if you have the Blundergat, Electric Cherry, and Speed Cola, you can reload too much and cause Electric Cherry to stop working. I'm reloading a ton, and... Oh my gosh, Electric Cherry just stopped. How is this even a thing? Myth confirmed. Apparently, Speed Cola doesn't actually rebuild barriers faster. It only makes the board animation faster. In my testing, I found that the barrier does get done quicker, but the points you get never speed up. So I'm gonna say this one is partially confirmed. In Dead of the Night, you can play pool or billiards. Apparently, I just have to shoot these and... Oh my goodness, you can. I'm literally making these into the pockets right now. Myth confirmed. Coming back to the Raygun Mark II one from earlier, I've been spinning the box for about an hour and I can confirm that you cannot get the Mark II without its DLC. My theory is that people got it in co-op games when their friend had the DLC, but for Solo, this myth is busted. My friend told me that you can get the Raygun 100% of the time using this trick. All I have to do is knife the box four times and and I get not the ray gun. This myth is busted. Apparently, Zombie Chronicles 2 was made for Black Ops 4, but never released because people didn't like BO4. Now, there's been a lot of rumors about this one recently, so I don't know if it's confirmed or busted. Let me know what you think in the comments. I've heard that the denizens spawn on Bus Depot even when you're not playing transit. All you have to do is run in this fog and wait and nope, they're not spawning. Myth busted. Apparently in BO3, you can have the Juggernog bottle as one of your reticles. Oh my, this is actually so cool. How have I never noticed this? Myth confirmed. Thank you for watching and watch another video.